So a man was arrested and charged with cyber stalking and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after allegedly tweeting an animated image to a journalist. So why would tweeting an animated image to a journalist cause these charges? Quite simply, the image was a strobing light and the journalist is epileptic and when he opened the tweet, the image ended up triggering a seizure. And of course, the post was intended, the post came with the message, you deserve a seizure for your post. So this post was in retaliation for other posts the journalist had put out there. His Twitter account allegedly had some direct messaging to others about this journalist that literally said, hey, I spammed this, let's see if he dies. Oh my gosh, I mean, this was deliberate, intentionally cruel, I say put him in jail. Like, this is just wrong. It, no. It's so sad to me. It's like the playground bully just grows up and is still a bully, but thankfully there are much more severe consequences. Well, and, yes. they, can, and they can do it over the internet and not face to face, and it's a very cowardly way. At least with a snake, you can see them coming after you. I think with, with social media, no, I'm being serious. With social media, you can just be going online to check your account and you open up some post and it's attacking you, in this case, physically, although rather unique in its scenario, but just be aware, and, and I do think there is an important takeaway here, and that is, if you do know someone with a seizure disorder, and they're good friends, ask them what their triggers may be. You know, in an ideal world, they'd be on the appropriate medication regimen where hopefully their seizures would be under control, but I think it's important to know that random things can trigger seizures, and this is certainly one of them.